guys. Wait, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Okay. Alright, so, um, hey guys. So, um, sorry if there's noise in the background, but the other class is having a party. <laughs> Alright, so, um, since it's nearing the end of summer vacation, um, I am doing a review for the rest of the reviews I do. Um, I'm going to do them, like, kind of like the evil professor. Um, go check him out if you don't know what his videos are like. So, um, uh, yeah. And remember to check out my new channel, The VLA 9. I'll be doing a lot of stuff on there. Alright, so, but, uh, on to the main topic. Alright, so here it is to celebrate the, um, to celebrate in October, the, in October the, we're going to see the return of AMC's The Walking Dead. And, um, so, um, for, you know, just for, um, well, I'm going to be doing more of The Walking Dead stuff, but, um, just to commemorate that, um, we're doing this review. It is on AMC The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Um, so yeah, this, is actually, this one people say that it's actually pretty hard to find. All the ones I found on eBay were like 99 bucks. So let's look on the back. So it says AMC The Walking Dead. And then here it has Deputy Rick Grimes. He comes with um, walkie-talkie, baseball bat, two revolvers, um, grenade, and rifle. And then here we have Zombie Biter. Um, comes with biting action jaw and deer meat. And then we have, of course, Daryl Dixon. Comes with crossbow, squirrels. <laughs> we all know about that. If you watch it, um, pickaxe, knife, and axe, and then the zombie watch walker, which is really dumb. <laughs> it comes with wind up walking action. So I got this at Barnes and Nobles for, which is a bookstore if you don't know, for sixteen ninety five. Um, it says thirteen plus, but not really. Um, there's the stuff. All right, so let's bust this baby open. Actually, I'm gonna try to do this as gently as I can, cause I've never had Walking Dead um, action figure before. So, let's take this out. So, there it is, out of the packaging. Let's just take this little cardboard off. Oh, it's actually taped on there. But let's take this off. I might stick this on my wall. Actually, you know what? I will. <laughs> Hold on. I'll show you guys. I'm going to stick it on to... I'm going to stick it on to um, my door. <laughs> It is. <laughs> All right. So let's get this out of the way. All right. So here it is. He just has one twist tie holding it into the packaging. Let me just untwist this. I love these good old plastic twist ties. Nowadays they use the weird paper ones. And it's just, I don't get it. Alright, so, got that 
twist tie off. Now let's first let's pop out all the weapons. Let's look at those. I was actually really itching to get one of these. Yeah. Alright. So first let's look at the knife. Sorry, my camera kind of focuses things on onto things that are far away sometimes. Sometimes it does it up close, sometimes it's far away. Alright, so it has pretty good detail. It's just a simple knife though. And yeah. Alright, so um, let's do the axe. Here is the axe, really shiny. Wooden um, handle axe. Wooden handle pickaxe. This looks like a stone pickaxe from Minecraft. And then his crossbow. Really good detailing on the crossbow. Um, it shows an arrow inside there. Um, it has a couple of arrows down here for reloading. Um, it has like the leather belt thingy clipped onto it. And yeah, now let's get... Um, uh, Daryl, Daryl, out of here. All right, so let's show you the squirrels. As you can see, there are a bunch of squirrels here. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squirrels on here. So yeah. And here is Daryl Dixon. I forgot he had a brother, and um, in episode three or yeah, I believe it was episode three. They um actually they actually left him behind in the department store, but that's pretty much giving a really big spoiler out. So. Yeah, but I forgot his brother's name. Alright, so... This link is kind of funky, but... Alright, so... Here is Daryl Dixon. Really nice... Alright, so first let's go into the sculpt on it, though. Oh, God, I hate this leg. It's right out of the package, I say. I hate it. It's really funky. Alright, so here... He has his um uh mustache and then his hair is really nice sculpted. Um as you can see he has all of his muscles. And then yeah. And then his shirt. It's pretty much just a tannish beige greenish shirt. Um he has a small cloth in his back pocket. Um Really nice blue jeans. These legs are just really weird. I don't know. <sighs> then he has a sheath for his knife. Right there. And then he has blue jeans. Alright, so let's see how he holds all of the weapons. Alright, so we're gonna start with the knife. It looks like... Um, that looks like it goes in his right hand. Oh! Sorry, I dropped it. It looks like his hand is too big to hold the knife. So, it looks like it's just more for the sheep. Sorry, God, I'm looking for the knife right now. Uh, 
Uh, I can find it after the review. Alright, so let's see his pickaxe. So he can't really hold the Alright, so it looks like he holds his his pickaxe in his right hand or uh left hand. He doesn't hold it very well, but let's see his axe. Yeah, he holds his axe pretty well. And let's see the crossbow. Oh yeah, baby. Boom shitty. So I'm trying to put it how he holds it on the back of the packaging. So he does this. Yep, he holds his crossbow really nice. Of course, because that's his main weapon. And um, for the squirrels, he can actually just... Um, Put those on his shoulder. Like he can carry them on his shoulder while he's shooting down some walkers. Alright, so now let's go into the sculpt. We'll go in. Alright, so the sculpt up top. Um, if you cut out the torso, it's really awesome sculpt. So, um, actually, let's do. Let's just do the sculpt and articulation while we're at it. So his head rotate goes side to side, up up and down, and 360 degrees. Just like most McFarlane toys. Um, his arms, 360 degrees, um, in and out. And they rotate at the forearm, or the bicep. And then at the elbow, goes up and down. And then the wrist, it goes in and out. Or forward and back, or in and out, whatever. And then no waist articulation. Um, he has a small bit of articulation on the thigh. Or not the thigh, the um, upper leg. Right there. And then... On the thigh, it's this really weird leg. Look at it. It looks like it's sideways, but it's really straight. Alright, so that can rotate 360 degrees, but you have to be really careful. Both of them. And then his, um, his knee bends about a centimeter. Not even a centimeter, like a half a centimeter. Yeah. And then his foot pivots side to side a little bit. So yeah. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's really good collector item. Um, look for this at Local Stars. And if you can't find it, your last resort is eBay. Oh. You do not want to have to buy one of these on eBay. Um, like I said, the cheapest ones I found were like 99 bucks. So, that is, let's just pose him for the end.
that has been the review of Daryl Dixon from AMC's The Walking Dead. Class is dismissed.